Hi guys! Today, we're going to show you how to correctly time the engine, which is the BMW M47 TU, which means technical update, but it is the same with the... Un what again? With the with older the versions. Older version, non-TU. Yeah, exactly. Non-TU. So, what are you going to tell us? How, how we need to do it? With what we need to start? Oh my god. So, here is the... Um, the crankshaft and the camshaft in this you should to make it lock you should put something in here which is a special tool let me show it to the people so that the this which is the flywheel doesn't move or any so where the special tool goes there is the exact position can you move it backward and forward the tool the what tool not the, the, the flywheel yeah you can remove it come on pull it out so now put it in again there, there is a hole there mm -hmm. So yeah, like that, it's worked, right? Yes. Okay, okay. And from there on? And then, you should... Um, in this, this is the... What do you call this? Uh, what is this again? Camshaft. Camshaft should face on the exhaust. So they, sh they should uh, face on the exhaust. On the both camshafts or on this camshaft? This both. Yes, this pair comes off, should be based there. They should face on the exhaust side. Should be pointing this side? Yes, yes. And how do you know the both camshafts are installed correctly they, to each other? You should see it by... Let's take a white and show it. You can see it through here. There is a dot. There is a dot and you should see it by the... How do you call this? The yeah. teeth should be... On level with the other teeth. Yeah. So the both dots shoot mm -hmm. a line with the line yeah. on the other camshaft. Mm -hmm. So that is how you're going to know that they are installed correctly to each other, the both camshafts. Why we have installed this tool here? To make it um, even or something. To like make that. it even? Yes. No. no. <laughs> to <laughs> time correctly the camshafts in their position. Oh. This is just to time them to each other correctly, but to time the boot cam shafts correctly to the crank shaft, there is a square here mm. for on which we are putting this tool, and with this we are holding and it's not moving anywhere. And by knowing that, it's going to be even here mm. and here. This is all the component that we're going to install before installing the cover or the what timing, chain, timing cover. chain cover. Because there's a uh, bolt which is hidden, it should be installed in, in from here, the top. From yeah. the top. So okay. it needs more space. So that's why it doesn't. We should that, put. That, that's why we haven't installed this. That's why we haven't installed this, this uh, thing. So uh, this. The guide is also, it should be installed now because if you put it after, I mean, the, you, you you can't put it in because it doesn't have enough space or it doesn't. If you want to install it from the top, mm -hmm. if you, it can be installed only from, from the bottom. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you came across all this, you can remove the camshafts and then you can install it from the top, but it's much more harder. So it's easier to install it now from the bottom. Uh, then removing the camshafts, install it from the top. This is just a tip. So yeah, now we're going to clean up the timing chain cover. We're going to install it and we're going to end up showing all the other things how it's installed. Just briefly, let's see what is the torque specs or everything. The torque spec of this oil nozzles is 10 newton meters. The nut and this nut here is 70. On what? Newton. On what is this not? This is a high uh, pressure fuel pump. And high how much pump. on the tensioner? How much is this? How much is this? It's not right it's what you're checking there. <laughs> you should know it, not it's not what do you think on every boat is right at how much newtometers should be torque? You should know that. Mm, three? I don't know. What three <laughs> three is nothing. It should be ten. Ten? Okay, so tensioner, 10 Nm, so you know that 10 Nm, high pressure fuel pump, 70 Nm. So yeah, this is all the things that we're going to install later after installing the timing chain cover. With the three bolts which is holding the camshaft gear in place and this is the hidden bolt that we are talking about. This one here, 
If you install them, you're not going to have access to this bolt. That's why we are not installing them now. Uh, and that's why we are showing, showing it like that. Because after installing the timing chain cover, you're not going to be able to see anything that we have done here. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to remove this pin for the tension of the lower chain. I have already done it, but this it should be removed after installing the timing chain cover with the gear and everything. And that's why we're going to keep it like that. Okay, now that we are already done or putting our engine cover, what is it? Timing chain. Timing, cover. timing chain cover, because for us to see the vault. Not, the not bolt, bolt. Bolt. What is this vault you're talking about? So this is the height and bolt that is making all the issues in these engines. And if we place the guide in place, it's invisible. So now, what is the next step? We're going to put this thing. This thing is? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this thing is. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the last step to complete the timing procedure. Okay, just long, just so, long. Okay, okay, uh, <laughs> you're going to learn. Okay, so, so, so at which point we are right now? So now we're going, uh, we already installed all the parts of the parts. All the, all the parts which left to be installed. Mm -hmm. So which means, what was this? A gear. What gear? Um, this is a cam camshaft gear. Very knowledgeable from your side. And, and then what? So that is the only thing that it left to, to be done until the timing is uh, is done with this engine. I can wait to wait. So I can only move concept Talk in English, a woman. Uh, so this this is what? This is the tool that locks the camshaft and then the crankshaft. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, show it to the people. Uh, here, Go there this, and show it to the people. This one. This one right now? This one? Yeah, exactly. This is the tool. Mm -hmm. But we have also this tool, which is also working the crankshaft. This is for other other engines. Uh, but this is the tool. So this is the tool. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what's the only thing that's left? This one. If you remove it... What's going to happen? It will... What do you call this one? Um, Swimming? No. What, 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 what is what, what's that? It's going to remove the slack of the chain because this is a tensioner. Mm -hmm. By removing this, we're going to remove the slack of the chain and then, because right now these bolts are hand tightened, after removing the slack of the chain, we're going to tighten up this bolt because this gear is going to move millimeter, even less when we remove it because it's going to rotate a little bit when we take out the slack of the chain. That's why we still haven't removed it. So to be able to remove it, we're going to use this screwdriver. Which we are taking it like oh. you know how to use it. Mm. Okay, bring it back to the man which is doing the job. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do it. She's going to film me because you know why. Yes, just listen. <laughs> so go, go there. Okay, film me there. Not, not me, film my, film my, uh, my uh, hands. And what I'm going to do? What? I'm, how I'm going to promote okay, it. Okay, okay. Are you filming? Huh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this is it. So now the chain has no slack as we can see. It's stiff. Actually, it's, get, it's going to get stiffer when there is all pressure inside because right now it's only tensioned only from a spring, which is not so stiff, but when there is all pressure, it's going to be much more stiffer. But now we are safe to tighten up these two bolts. After we rotate the engine, we're going to inst install the third one, but for now the two ones are, are enough. So let me tighten them up and we're going to rotate the engine and show you that we are still in time. We're, okay. we're going to remove this tool and also this one to start the what? Yeah? Rotation, process? rotation process. Okay, show yeah. me how it's removed. Very handy of your side. It's enough, it's enough, it's, it's enough. enough. Okay, so uh, you need to press this and rotate it. Okay. Okay, okay so. And also this one? Yeah, just, just pull it a little bit. Okay, like, okay, okay, take it out. So now, uh, leave it on, on the table. Okay, okay. So now you need to rotate it two times. Can you remember that the key is somewhere around that? Mm -hmm. So 720 degrees in total. Come on. It's heavy. Okay. It's heavy. You are a tough woman. Come on. Two times, right? Two times, yeah. One more. Uh, slow, slowly on the end. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, more, 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 more. Slowly, slowly, come on, we are watching here, okay, slowly, no, leave it to me now, so, take this tool now, 
Well done. Do I need to put it again? Yes. Here? Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> no, of course not what you're doing. <laughs> so, there, there is a hole here. Not in, in the opposite side. Like that. Yeah. Like this? On the opposite side. What are you doing? You are supposed to repair cars. Why am you painting? Painting. Okay, so now you need to tell me when to stop this shooter line. Okay. This, this shooter line with this. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. hold, hold the light. Okay, stop. Oh, more. You sit. A little bit. Stop. Okay, is mm -hmm. it in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. There, there's not going to go anywhere. I'll take this too. And you know what? To Let me see. Uh, sometimes on. Let me see what you're doing. So what I told you, what's important thing here? What is the important thing? This one should be. What? This one? What? What's supposed to be? What? I don't Say know. it to the people. They want to hear it from your mouth. Was it okay good? <laughs> it should be flat on the surface. Ah, okay, okay, it should be even. Okay, it, the... is it even? Yes, I think. I yes, yes. Think it. it is. You don't need it. This is uh, the important thing is to be even on both sides. So, huh? mm -hmm. what what all of this means? Installing this tool here and this tool here. What is everything this means? So it means that if we correctly uh, type up the engine. Very good job from your side. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. The timing procedure is 99, 100, no 99, 100% the same on M57, for which I have 999 videos about it. But this is enough. Yeah, the only thing that left to install the third bolt here, but going to install it is there. But I just wanted to show you that it's pretty straightforward how to install it. That's matter M47. M57 does matter is automatic or in this case manual gearbox. This is a dual mass flywheel. That's why we have installed such a long sleeves to install it on the engine stand. But does matter. I'm actually starting to think to start producing them and selling them because it's kind of annoying to find the right bolt and sleeve when installing on the engine stand. So it's probably some of you going to be interested. Okay, so what you going to say? What is the last word for the viewers about uh, this uh, procedure and uh, this video? Like and subscribe. <laughs> nice. <laughs>